Uh, welcome everybody to the sixth um, official lecture of the National Academy of Writing, Pembroke College Summer Creative Writing School. Uh, this is the lecture slot, and uh, I could lecture about editing, and that's why I've got the lectern out, which no one so far has used, but I thought you ought to see it, to see what a lecture used to look like. Someone standing behind this lectern, speaking for an hour and 15 minutes um, about something which interested them, and hoping they would interest you. Uh, but that's not what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to follow the principle of show, not tell, um, which means that I'm going to demonstrate the editing process, uh, or at least try and show the kind of thought processes that go into improving a text from one draft to another. We talked yesterday about how we can treat different drafts in a different way. Um, as you know, the the National Academy aims to communicate the ways in which writers actually get their books written. Uh, not theoretically, but practically. Uh, and part of this process uh, is to show the level of precision to which you can aspire when you're editing your own work. Uh, so when the National Academy of Writing was set up in, two, in the year 2000, writers set it up and their ambition was to create a kind of skills-based academy which was like a drama school, or like a music school, or a conservatoire. So I went to the Birmingham Conservatoire, which is one of the big music schools uh, in, in the UK, uh, and I asked them how they did their teaching. And something that they do in music schools is called uh, what they call a master class, which is when a visiting professional musician comes into a class of, say, violinists, and one of the violinists in the class will have a public music lesson, will just have a violin lesson in front of everybody else. And the principle of this is that the lesson for one is a lesson for all. All those violinists will be encountering similar types of problems. Uh, and if you, uh, as a violinist, observe a violin lesson with an expert, you will learn almost as much as the person who's actually having the lesson. Uh, and I thought that that could be transferred into creative writing, and that's how this public edit developed. The principle is that an edit for one is an edit for all. There will be material here that will be useful for your process. 